You know what's coming. Um, just what's going through your head? You you see that shot miss with point three. I think it, it was a slap of the floor, which I, I find a little bit cliched. But uh, after that, just kind of celebrating and enjoying that moment for you. Yeah, you know, obviously we we worked so hard through the whole series. You know, uh, it was a lot of fun. It went back and forth. Uh, they were incredible, you know. So it was just in that moment, you know, I was obviously excited. You know, I was, I was uh, definitely riding a high, you know, and uh, you know, it was just a, a great moment. Can you take me through the block uh, that you get late, kind of from the backside? It was a little bit strange for you because typically you're waiting at the rim and you kind of came from the backside. Yeah, you know, obviously uh, I saw that we got Katie to go downhill. You know, obviously we, we didn't want to give it any uh, easy threes for him. So, you know, we wanted to get him inside the three-point line. And, and uh, our team did that a very good job of that for the most part. Uh, and so I just tried to be behind him and, and protect him all night as much as I could. And so I just tried to read the play. And our guy did a great job of kind of getting him downhill, funneling him to the basket where I could just make an easy play. I, I know this might be painful to talk about, but you, I guess with the shot clock at the end of regulation, was that just something that slipped your mind? And then I guess the fact that you guys win that game, Bud said it almost motivated you guys to really get this one to, to kind of save it. Yeah, honestly, uh, you know, I just, uh, I made a mistake. You know, I wasn't aware. I knew there was eight seconds on the game clock. I had no idea there was still a shot clock, you know, and I just, I made that mistake. It's what it was, you know, and so, after that happened, you know, I just took it upon myself. And I told my teammates, you know, uh, I made a mistake, but let's go get this. You know, we're, I'm going to fix this. We're going to fix this, you know. And so uh, it happened, but, you know, it was great to see how resilient we were. Jim Mazarski. Um, there aren't many of you left from that team two years ago. So what what does it mean, I guess, for the, the handful of you, are, of, of you that are, but also how – it's come together as you've talked all this year about, the, you know, the adjustments it's taken and the time it's taken for new roles. And st you know what I mean? Like to, to get back to an East finals, I know it's not done yet, but to, to get back to that point, I guess. Yeah. Point. We're obviously proud of, we're, we're definitely proud of where we are. Uh, again, we've put a lot of work in to get to this point. Um, and, but you know, our goal this season at the beginning of the season wasn't just to make it to the Eastern conference finals, you know, uh, obviously, we want to win a championship, but at the same time, we want to take it one game at a time, you know, keep focused. And I've been focusing on other series, really. I don't I don't know what's going on in the Western Conference. I know Philly and Atlanta have a game seven, but, you know, whoever wins, we just got to keep keep focusing on us, keep focusing on ourselves. That's that's the big important thing. You know, whatever happens with other teams, we got to come out and play like we can play every night. Um. What was your view, I guess, of Kevin's shot and the way Tuck tried to, yeah. What, and then what was the feel then to to know he did that, but yet also to recollect and, and to get it, knowing you have five more minutes? Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's such an amazing player. You know, that's, you know, one thing I just told him after the game, I was like, God, you know, it was, it was incredible watching this series. Just such a huge fan of his game. You know, he just, he's so good at getting to his spots, you know, and, in making big plays, uh, he's just so talented. And so that's a, you know, I have such a great appreciation for Tuck, you know, because Tuck goes out there and it makes things as hard as possible for him. And, uh, you know, he, he was such a huge pickup at the deadline. He he, he, he absolutely knows his role. He, he comes out every single game, puts his heart on the line, plays as hard as he can, and goes out there and just does his job. And he knew his role this series. And he did it as, as best as anyone in the world could human poss humanly possibly do. You know, he's just so phenomenal. And I just, well, I'll tip my hat to him literally right now because he, he was so huge for us. Siri Sowie with the ringer. Hey, Brooke, uh, congrats on the win here. I was just, uh, I was wondering if you could kind of take me through that last that last play where, where KD missed. I was wondering if, you know, just the evident fatigue that he had was something that you guys talked about. And if that's the kind of thing that gave you guys, I don't know, just a little bit more pride or confidence in, in the defensive game plan. <laughs> With him, you know, it's, he, he lets go of the, sh the ball, you know, and I think everyone was following the, you know, the, the track of that ball. Cause you know, you, you always feel like it's going to go in with him, but again, you know, we, 
we, we, we did a great job defensively. Tuck did his work, Drew did his work. You know, I say his work. Chris was phenomenal uh, on Katie and on everyone else. But it, it definitely was part of our game plan to just make him work as much as possible each possession. And, uh, you know, we, we knew it would pile up on him. We knew that, that having to be the guy, having to work to get his shots off, that just would accumulate through seven games. And, you know, uh, that, that fatigue would be there just enough. One more to Christos in Greece. Hey, Brook. Yanni said before that the job is not done. And now you are four wins away from the NBA Finals. What is the mindset in the team? And how important is it to build on that effort and that victory? Yeah, we, we just, we, we still want to keep getting better. You know, uh, like I said, you know, we, we know what our goal is. And, uh, you know, we, we just got to keep our tunnel vision, keep our focus, and keep going one game at a time. You know, we, we want to go the same way in the series, regardless of who we're playing. Just going to keep focusing on us. You know, which ways we can get better as a team offensively, defensively. We'll watch a lot of film because you know, it's all on us at the end of the day. All right. Thanks, Brooke. Thanks, guys.